Well, I have to vent a little bit today because I've just received one of the greatest loads of bureaucratic rubbish I've seen that came in the mail. Over two months ago, I wrote to Fisheries Minister Leon Bignall, along with a significant number of other recreational fishers, to have him dissolve RecFish SA. That's the body that is supposed to represent us 300,000 recreational fishers. Their track record, which I outlined in detail and backed up with facts, shows they do anything but represent recreational fishers' interests. For example, here's a list of RecFish SA's record. It supported the introduction of marine parks, claiming they'd be good for sustainability. It took the line Perza wanted it to take. It supported the recent introduction of massive cuts to recreational bag and boat limits. Perza wanted them to do that, so they did. Stuff the recreational fishers they're supposed to represent. I politely asked Leon Bignall to have a look at its track record and move to replace the organisation with a new group that actually supports recreational fishing in this state. I'm talking about SAFA, Fish and SA and Recfish Central. So this is the way it goes when a letter gets sent to him. His mind is push it over to Recfish SA and Persa to get their story straight. Don't worry about answering the questions. Put the best spin on it you can. Defend. The reply gets so sanitised as it goes backwards and forwards, but ultimately achieves its goal. Don't even try to address the issues. All good, send it off. Now that same form letter went to all of those recreational fishers like me who took the time and the concern to write to the minister. We were fobbed off. We were flushed down the drain. When you have an arrogant government, you have an arrogant public service. They go hand in hand because there's a lot of ladder climbing to be done when a government is in for so long. Careers are made for the noddies and knee kneelers. So here's what he did. He promoted, in his eyes, the great things Wreckfish SA has done. Restocking dams, getting small grants for other groups, and about to do a video. Nowhere does he say the benefit they've provided for recreational fishers, because he can't. One could ask that the $3.5 million given by the government to this mealy mouth organisation after the Marine Parks fiasco was because of the good job it did in supporting Persa. It takes a bit to send me off, but I couldn't help it. Now I know how others feel when they write intelligent, well-researched letters to the government, only to get back a letter you wouldn't flush away because of the fear of the pollution it would cause. Oh, and to top it all off, have a look below his signature. The date of January 2017 has been crossed out and replaced with 28th of December 2016. They're still in a tiz over it. They don't know what day it is, let alone the year. And what's more, they don't care. Does anyone have one of those air sickness bags? I think I'm going to need it.